Good morning and welcome to the 2022 Sedgwick County Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony. My name is Lieutenant Robert Richenberger with the Wichita Police Department and I'll be serving as your host. On behalf of Chief Moore, Sheriff Easter, and our command staffs, I'd like to start by thanking the families for honoring us with your presence this morning. We all know that our families carry the heaviest burden and we are grateful for your sacrifices. We gather here today not only to remember, but to honor yours and our fallen heroes. They served and sacrificed their lives for others and they will never be forgotten. May their courage and sacrifice for others be a legacy that will be, that will be passed down through all generations. I'd also like to thank the many dignitaries, local and federal law enforcement officers, first responders, military members, and other guests for taking time out of their busy schedules to honor the 32 Sedgwick County law enforcement members from 1871 to 2021 who have made the supreme sacrifice while serving our community. Please stand for the honor guard or for the color guard presenting the colors. Please join me in pledging allegiance to the flag of our great nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for the laying of the wreath. Please welcome Derby Police Department Deputy Chief Brandon Russell and Clearwater Police Department Sergeant Lee Hart. Now for the invocation, please welcome Wichita Police Chaplain Dave Henyon.
Let's come in the presence of the Lord. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity to give thanks, to give honor to some brave men who put their lives on the line so that we could live in a society that's free and out of chaos. I pray, Lord God, especially for these families who are represented here and those that couldn't come, that have felt the heart tug and the pain of the loss of a loved one who put themselves so bravely in harm's way. We know that your word says, greater love hath no man than this, to lay down his life for a friend. And Lord, we know that these folks not only did it for a friend, but even for strangers. They go every day with those three letters, those three numbers, 911, and put their lives on the line to strangers and protect them. I just pray, God, we thank you for their sacrifice. And we thank you, Lord, for their bravery. And I want to pray for the folks that are out there today and in the service right now, that you'll continue to bless them with safety and strength and courage as they do a monumental duty of bringing justice to our land and also, Lord, bringing peace. God, we bless them and we ask you for your divine guidance for them. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for those uh, words of comfort and encouragement. Please welcome Wichita Mayor Brandon Whipple. Good morning. Today I would like to read a proclamation that was passed by the City Council in this last City Council meeting. Proclamation of the City of Wichita, Kansas, founded in 1870. Whereas, the Congress of the United States of America has designated the week of May 15th through the 21st, 2022, to honor and pay tribute to those law enforcement officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty for the safety and protection of others. Whereas, our law enforcement officers are the guardians of life and property, defenders of the individual right to be free men and women, warriors in the battle against crime, and are dedicated to the preservation of life and property. And whereas, our community desires to honor the valor, service, and dedication of its own police officers and sheriff deputies. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Brandon Whipple, Mayor of the City of Wichita, Kansas, along with the Wichita City Council, do hereby proclaim May 15th through May 21st, 2022, as Law Enforcement Memorial Week in the City of Wichita, Kansas, and call upon all citizens to express our appreciation to these men and women who are willing to sacrifice their lives, if necessary, to guard us and our loved ones against all who violate the law. Thank you, everyone, for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Whipple. Please welcome Sedgwick County Commission Chairman David Dennis. It is an honor to be here today representing Sedgwick County. And on behalf of all the county commissioners, we pass the following proclamation. Whereas, in 1962, the United States Congress first passed Public Law 87-726, designating May 15th of each year as Peace Officers Memorial Day, honoring federal, state, and local officers who have been killed or disabled in the line of duty and the corresponding week as Police Week. And whereas, over the years, devoted law enforcement officers of America have courageously sacrificed their personal safety while working on behalf of the people. And whereas, because of their steadfast efforts to enforce our laws, we as citizens can enjoy a system of peace and order. 
and whereas Sedgwick County desires to honor the valuable service and dedication of not only its own sheriff's deputies, but peace officers everywhere. Now therefore be it resolved that I, Chairman David T. Dennis, and the Board of Sedgwick County Commissioners do hereby proclaim May 15 to the 21st, 2022 as Police Week in Sedgwick County and call upon our citizens to show their sincere appreciation for the many law enforcement officers of Sedgwick County, past and present, and their legacy of humble, dedicated service to our community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman Dennis. Please welcome Wichita Police Chief Emil Moore. Thank you all for being here. It is an honor to stand before each and every one of you. This long career that I've been in, I cherish, I appreciate. I appreciate the families that are here. I've learned being a part of a law enforcement family isn't about just being blood, isn't about having to live with someone. It's about taking care of the people that we care for. Why are we here today? To honor the fallen heroes that have served our community. Why are we here today? to show respect to the family members of those heroes. As I always say, each and every men and women that show up every day to do the job of law enforcement officers, we do it because of something that's within us. We do it because we're not forced to. We do it because we care. And so when I say family, Family is each and every one of us that are here today. Because each and every one of us care not only about each other, but we care about the community that we serve and we protect. And we will continue to serve and protect. So I just want to say thank you. I'm honored. I'm humbled. And I'm very appreciative of each and every one of you and the sacrifices that our loved ones have given. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Moore. Please welcome Sedgwick County Sheriff Jeffrey Easter. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, if you see me reach up, these flat hats can fly off compared to the other hats, so I apologize. So, um, but welcome uh, to the memorial. Uh, appreciate everybody being here. Thank you to the commissioners and the council members. Uh, other elected officials come here, but we appreciate the proclamations. Uh, also want to thank all of the law enforcement that is out here today, uh, recognizing what today is and remembering our fallen. But first and foremost, I want to recognize uh, the families that are here today. This is what we do this for, uh, that your loved one was never forgotten. So if you don't mind standing, we can give you a round of applause. I appreciate that. As you know, every year we um, unfortunately have uh, a memorial. Uh, we would hope that uh, no more law enforcement officers would lose their lives uh, here or anywhere in the United States, but uh, that's not the reality. And so the folks that uh, had the dream uh, to build this memorial several years ago uh, has done an excellent job for all of us to remember our fallen. And that's what we're here for today. I recognize a lot of the families here today. Um, unfortunately, you've been coming to these for years, uh, but it's so nice to see you again uh, because this is how one time a year that we can remember your loved one as well. I will tell you law enforcement has been, been challenged the last three years. We all know that, uh, but we happen to live in a community where we are respected by 90% of the, the citizenry that we serve. 
they know the job that we do, the professionalism that we do, the ethics that we have, and the morals that we have. And they believe in both the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office and the Wichita Police Department and how we conduct business. So for the officers, don't ever forget that. The other thing that I would tell you is, is for law enforcement in general, remember what professionalism, remember what ethics, and remember what morals means. Because we're doing it for these folks that their boots are setting behind us and their plaques are setting behind us and for the citizens. Don't tarnish that badge because it tarnishes their memory. And so with that, I'd also like to recognize that we are adding a name uh, this year uh, to the memorial. Uh, Call Witch Officer T.J. Olmeyer uh, succumbed to COVID uh, last year and he's being uh, recognized this year. And I know his fam part of his family is here as well and uh, we're so sorry for your loss. So thank you again for coming today. I hope uh, you enjoy the rest of the ceremony and at least it's not raining and blowing 50 miles an hour. So we appreciate it and have a great day. Thank you, Sheriff Easter. Please, now please welcome special guest, Deputy State Director for Senator Jerry Moran, Michael Zammer's Law. Sheriff Easter, Chief Moore, our law enforcement heroes, families of the fallen, and special guests. It is an honor to join you this morning on behalf of Senator Moran. The Senator asked me to convey, uh, first of all, uh, his great thanks and appreciation for your service and your sacrifice, and also uh, his sincere regrets that he's unable to uh, join you here in person. However, uh, in recognition of National Police Week, as well as having this specific event in mind, on May 12th, uh, the Senator entered uh, the following uh, remarks into the official uh, congressional record, uh, which I would like to read to you now. Mr. President, this week, our nation observes National Police Week, a time when we pay tribute to our brave law enforcement officers and honor those who died in the line of duty. Over the course of this week, Americans will come together to pay tribute to the 619 officers who gave their lives in the line of duty last year. Among them, six brave officers from Kansas will be memorialized on the National Law in Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. Thousands travel to our nation's capital to honor those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice during this ceremony. And back home, Kansans will gather to honor the men and women who put on a uniform each day to protect the communities each of us call home. <clears throat> All too often, we forget about the many important roles that our police officers have within our communities. This extends beyond relationships between police officers and individual residents. It is about the relationships between law enforcement and key institutions in our communities, such as churches, hospitals, schools, and businesses. During Police Week, we honor those we have lost, but we also remember the families they left behind. May God comfort them in their time of grief and be a source of strength for them. May God bless our law enforcement officers and, and protect them from harm as they faithfully perform their duties each and every day. Thank you. Thank you, Director Samuel. For roll call, please welcome Wichita Police Lieutenant Chris Henderson and Sedgwick County Sheriff Captain Brad Hoke. In memoriam, Carlos B. King. Cedric County Sheriff's Office, September 23rd, 1871. William L. Humphreys, Wichita Police Department, February 23rd, 1915. Frank W. Griswold, Wichita Police Department, May 23rd, 1915. 
William H. Ballard, Wichita Police Department, July 20th, 1920. Albert L. Young, Wichita Police Department, November 5th, 1921. James Robert Fitzpatrick, Wichita Police Department, November 21st, 1921. Charles D. Hoffman, Wichita Police Department, November 25th, 1921. Charles E. Galloway, Wichita Police Department, July 15th, 1923. Robert C. Scudder, Wichita Police Department, November 30th, 1923. Harrison R. Brown, Wichita Police Department, January 5th, 1925. Edward W. Hall, Wichita Police Department, April 10th, 1925. Vernon E. Ogden, Wichita Police Department, June 26, 1927. Benjamin Frank Hill, Cedric County Sheriff's Office, August 16th, 1927. Joseph Earl Marshall, Wichita Police Department, August 29th, 1927. Paul E. Gilmore, Wichita Police Department, June 18th, 1930. James O. Pugh, Wichita Police Department, July 31st, 1930. Merle R. Culver, Wichita Police Department, August 14th, 1931. Robert J. Hammers, Clearwater Police Department, March 14th, 1934. David A. Kenyon, Wichita Police Department, October 26, 1962. Roy Vance Johnson, Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office, October 31st, 1974. Charles D. Meeks, Derby Police Department, May 9th, 1976. Paul Garofalo, Wichita Police Department, November 8th, 1980. Donald D. Laffey, Wichita Police Department, January 5th, 1982. Terry W. McNett, Cedric County Sheriff's Office, February 2nd, 1988. Christopher C. Wellums, Cedric County Sheriff's Office, May 12th, 1991. Kevin S. Easter, Cedric County Sheriff's Office, January 8th, 1996. Kenneth E. Snyder, Cedric County Sheriff's Office, April 18th, 1997. Jack E. Galvin, Wichita Police Department, November 4th, 2000. Brian S. Etheridge, Central County Sheriff's Office, September 28th, 2009. Robert K. Kunze III, Central County Sheriff's Office, September 16th, 2018. Clay Germany, Wichita Police Department, July 9th, 2021. T.J. Olmeyer, Colwich Police Department, December 8th, 
honor to be up here. And as the song Amazing Grace was being played, I can't help but think what Jesus did for us. But not only that, but what are the words he said? He said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they'll be called children of God. Jesus also said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And he said, love your neighbor as yourself, as all the law and the prophets depend on these commands. He also said, no, no one has greater love than this, is to lay down his life for his friends. I think the last that we know these scriptures and what they mean to us is that our brothers and sisters that are here today are willing to lay down their lives for our community, willing to go into the dark places that nobody else wants to go to. And they're willing to do that for friends and family, neighbors. But us that are mourning today, Jesus said this for us, blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. And let us be comforted in the hands of our God. Father, thank you. Thank you so much for everything you have blessed us with. But more than anything, Father, we just, we ask that you comfort us in this time of mourning. But Father, we know that your word is perfect. And you have called these people that have given their ultimate life, their, their ultimate sacrifice, you have called them. And you love them. And so, Father, today we mourn for those that have given their life. But Father, you have already blessed them. And so, Father, today I ask the blessings upon each and every one of these people that are here today. Still remembering the sacrifice that they have given so long ago. Father, thank you. And in Jesus' name we do pray.